All right, so in this tutorial, we're gonna make a shirt that has rolled sleeves with a t-shirt inside. So it's gonna be an open shirt with a t-shirt inside, a tight t-shirt. So we're gonna start by making the tight t-shirt inside and click on new cloth and position the points, the neck, the chin, the nipple, shoulder, elbow, wrist and pelvis. So click on generate rig and we can now position the neck circle around here the shoulder circle. In fact, we want the neck circle a little bit larger since it's going to be a V-neck. I'm just going to rotate it like this. And the sleeve, the shoulder can be about... Let me undo because I think I moved the body. Okay, yeah, the shoulder can be about this big. And the bicep area or the sleeve can be about this long and rather tight. And for the waist, we can have it about this long. And I'm going to shrink it a bit, so I'm just going to scale it so it fits onto the character. And then click on Generate Top. Okay, not bad. So from the side view, I'm going to go into Sculpt Mode. And just move it down a little bit to tidy up the shirt. And lift this part up. And now to make it into a V-neck, select these edges. And press Shift E and 1. And then you can now slide down the vertices by pressing G twice. So you can just press G, G to slide them down. And then you can just uh, edit it to smoothen out the rest of the geometry. And I think this is fine. So because the geometry is so simple, it's easy to make like very new shapes with just little adjustments. And I think that's pretty cool. All right, so you can press play and you see the cloth drops onto the character. So we want it to be a tight shirt. So you can come over to the paint section, in edit mode, select all of the, the entire shirt and under inflate or deflate, click on this icon and we can set it to 0.6 or 0.7 and click on OK. When you press play, you'll see it shrinks more onto the character and you can see the sleeves are tighter, the shirt is tighter. Uh, you might want to increase the weight of the shirt, so I'm going to increase it to about 0.3 and we can increase the quality steps to 20 so that the simulation has um, a higher quality. And we could shrink this a little bit more. So I'm going to edit mode, click on this, and we're going to set this to about 0.7 and click on OK. All right, so I'm going to bake this now and then we're going to create the shirt that will go over it. Okay, so the bake is complete and we have our shirt simulation like this. We have a little weird deformation around here, but you can solve that by just increasing the weight of the cloth because you can, as you can see, it's a bit um, stiff at that point or reduce the bending. Okay, so I'm going to create the shirt now and select your character and click on top and click on new, new cloth. And we're going to just position the points like last time, the chin, nipple, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Generate top rig, and since it's a shirt, we can make the neck part a little bit wider, like so. And the uh, sleeve, we can make it um, bigger than the shirt, of course. And this part as well, around here. It's going to be a long sleeve. Oh, we're, we're going to make it a, um, a roll-up sleeve, so I'm just going to bring it around here, the shirt. And you can make it long like this. I'm just going to scale it it's okay and click on generate top and we have a top so I'm gonna set this color to random so that we can see the different objects and just you just want to shape the t-shirt to be a bit larger than the shirt that's underneath like that but we can also remove this weird bump over here and I'm just going to inflate the back area so it covers the other shirt all right then, so now that we have this, under Divine Presets, we can turn this to a shirt and we want it open and with a color. Don't need a hoodie. So click on Turn to Shirt and give it a few moments to turn it into a shirt. All right, so we have our shirt here and it comes with a color and you'll hear a message talking about how the color is deactivated. And um, that's because the color, when it's activated, it runs slowly. So for now, it works fine. Um, if you see any issue here with the color, just click these two and press M and merge at center to fix it. Then click on bind to rebind it to the shirt. All right, so when you press play, 
um, you can see the shirt is working but select the inner shirt select the inner shirt and click on toggle collision so right now it's on so when I click it, it's turned off but click on toggle collision to turn it on so that the outer shirt will collide with the inner shirt okay so now um, the inner shirt will not pass through or the outer shirt will not pass through the inner shirt so now to make the sleeves kind of appear as if they're rolled up we are going to duplicate a part of the sleeve so select this um, part of the shirt press shift P and then right click and then press P and separate by selection okay so now select that object so you can click on it like this and we're going to increase the solidify modifier here or adjust the offset like this and then we can select these edges and press G twice and then press C and move it the opposite way okay so this will kind of be the roll up part of the sleeve so you can do the same for the bottom part move it up press C and then move it back down and we can now use modifiers to adjust it so we're going to apply um, we're going to remove the cloth modifier and we're going to adjust the surface deform modifier so change it from character and set it to this cloth so we're going to bind this um, piece to the shirt and click on bind so now when you press play that part of the sleeve is kind of appears like a rolled up sleeve and you can add um, displacement to make it appear a bit different so that's basically the workflow you can also just add another mesh or custom mesh but that's it's easier to duplicate it from the initial shirt so that's basically it that is the workflow to creating a shirt you can now bake the top and after you're done baking the top click on the color and under here click on activate color so that the color is active the reason why it's deactivated is because it's, it makes it run slow but um yeah that's basically the workflow for creating a shirt with rolled sleeves also one more thing after baking the shirt you can also bake the color by coming under the softer body uh, modifier under cache and click on bake